Hello guys, in this video I want to quickly demonstrate to you a new Laravel package called Anonymize by Steve Bauman and Josh to help you hide some sensitive data, for example for the demo to the customer or in some public. I saw a tweet recently by Steve explaining the situation and I will link the tweet in the description below. But basically if you want to hide some data from the database to show it with fake data instead, this may be a package for you. So this is how it works. If we take a look in the docs, after Composer require, you specify the model that you want to anonymize. In that model you add implements anonymizable, then use anonymized and then you need to specify the attributes and the rules which fields to anonymize with which faker method. So here's my demo project. In the user model, I did the same thing, anonymizable, anonymized, and then also at the end, there's get anonymized attributes with name, email, and address for users. And now here's the result. In the users table of filament in this case, but it could be outside of filament, when you list the users, the name, the email, and the address is with faker. Compare that to the real database. In the real database, user one is John Smith at Gmail com, which is not examples.com as faker generates. Also, he lives in New York. Compare that to user one, Jalen with example.net with address somewhere else, totally not in New York. And this is actually user ID one. With view, you can see all that data here on the view page, not only in the table. So it anonymizes whatever you have in the table or in individual query. So the database data stays the same and then the anonymized fake data is what is shown on the page. Pretty genius, I would say. Also important how to enable that anonymization in what case there should be a condition because you yourself want to see the real data, not the fake one. So probably on production server, it would be live, but on some testing server, it would be fake and vice versa. So where to define that condition? According to the official readme, there's enable anonymization with this anonymize enable. Also, you can have it disable or have a condition is enabled. And then you need to put that, for example, in app service provider with some condition. In our case, for the demo project, we added it in the admin panel provider of filament, which is kind of equivalent of app service provider in Laravel. In the middleware, we have a lot of middlewares default for Laravel, but in auth middleware, which means for authenticated users, we added another middleware, our own custom middleware. And here we have the condition. If config demo mode, which is our own defined structure variable, which can be used differently in .env on your local and on production and on testing servers. So in this case is app demo mode true or false. If I open .env at the bottom, we have true. But for example, if we change that to false and we refresh that page, then the data gets back to live mode and gets taken from the database without any faker. So yeah, pretty simple package, but quite often needed for demonstration, as I mentioned in the beginning. What do you think about this package? Would you use it or do you have any alternatives to suggest? Let's discuss in the comments below. And also with Laravel packages, just as a reminder on our Laravel daily com website in the resources, we have best Laravel packages currently 224 packages filtered with at least 100 stars and many more filters. So if you want to search for a specific package or find something new, I will link that list in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.